Today I'm going to walk through installing Google SDK. We will use Google SDK so that we can authenticate to Google Platform products uh, within our uh, development environment. So as we code in Python, Java, or any other language, we want to be able to authenticate locally. And um, one way to accomplish that is by installing Google SDK and initializing it, which we will cover later. First step is uh, go to or search for Google SDK and I will say install and it should bring you to some sort of documentation you can click on the ad or you can click uh, here cloud.google.com um, in this section you may want to go to, like the quick starts uh, menu where you'll have downloads for Linux uh, or other Linux distributions, Mac or Windows. So I'm going to click on Linux. Uh, being that I have a Linux 64 system, I'm going to select this particular download and then I'll save it. And once saved, then I will go to my folder, my downloads folder, and here is the file. So, um, basically to unpackage this, uh, you can use any uh, software that you may have like 7-Zip or uh, WinZip or what have you in order to unpackage this uh, GunZip file. Uh, but if you don't have that, then the following command uh, should work in Linux or in uh, Mac if you have it. Um, so basically say tar and then this command will unpackage this content and uh, it'll kind of just give you like a, a list of the files that it's being unpacked, that's being unpacked. Uh, so once you do that, it doesn't take more than a couple of seconds. And I can see that now I have a Google SDK folder. So I will go into that folder and I will look for the install sh file and I'm going to run that so we can install it locally. And so here it's basically saying do I want them to collect data in my usage? Uh, I'll hit no for now. Uh, now it's asking me if it's okay uh, for it to update my bash RC or maybe your bash profile and I'm going to say yes and so essentially it's going to add a couple lines of code so that um, whenever you open up your terminal um, it, it instantiates it basically and one thing that I want to point out the, the things that are going to be available with SDK off the bat are going to be um, tools so that you can interface with BigQuery some of the core libraries this is really what we're going to use in our within our code and cloud storage command line tool but these two would probably be the biggest thing but i would say cloud cloud sdk core libraries is really what we're going to use so if we want to continue hit yes uh, enter a path uh, for a file to update it already identified my bash pro uh, my bash rc so that is fine i'll just leave it as is and that is going to be it so all i will have to do is basically uh, restart my terminal or i can source my bash um, file and i'll be ready to use google sdk so now i want to um, actually let's go ahead and initialize it since we're already here and to do that we're going to type gcloud in it And so here it's basically saying you have to log into your account. So this, this is going to be like your Gmail account um, so that we can get authentication going. So I'm going to hit yes. And it opens up a, a sign in. So it'll ask me to sign into my Gmail. Here I go. Now do I want Google SDK to access my Google, uh, my Google account? Uh, of course I do. That's the whole purpose of installing it. And so like now we're authenticated with Cloud SDK. So if you go to console.cloud.google.com, 
even before you did the SDK installation, uh, you should have access to like this uh, particular platform. Um, here, this is where you you know create projects and um, and use like the the type of technologies that Google offers uh, in response to like AWS services. Uh, that's a topic for another video, but at the very minimum, uh, you're set up to code locally and uh, connect and authenticate um, to the cloud platform without having to enter your credentials anywhere else or store it in a local file or anything like that. So uh, thanks for watching. See you in future videos.